it's finally time to actually go ahead and publish our package into npm registry. And as a reminder, we are already importing functionality from our package in the main.js file of our client application. And the way we made it possible is by linking our local folder with a package to a node modulus folder of our client application by running the following command npm link and the name of the package we'd like to link to our client application. And then as we can see inside node modulus folder we have the new link called plug which points directly to the folder with our library. And now instead of linking our local library we're actually gonna go ahead and publish our package to npm registry. So first of all what we have to do is to login. Let's run npm login in the root of our library and we will be presented with a couple of prompts. Here we need to type in the username as well as the password that we have used to register on the npm website. And yes, yeah, side note, we need to be registered upfront in order to log into npm. Then we also have to enter our email address and right after we will receive the code on our email. So let's enter this code in here and as soon as we're gonna see this message that means we were successfully authenticated. So I'll switch over to my browser and right here as we can see I don't have any libraries in my npm account yet. So let's start the process of publishing our library to npm. First of all let's go and open up file package json of our library and here the first thing that I'm gonna do is rename the value stored under the key name. Besides the name of our library, I'm also going to use namespace. This namespace should match username of the logged in user. And what this will do is it will basically make sure that we are not gonna get any naming collisions. Because there is a high chance that the package with the name plugged already exists on npm. And now in the terminal to publish the package, we have to run npm publish. This time we get an error saying that our library is considered to be private. And the reason is that in the package.json file we have the key private with the value true. So let's remove this key, run npm publish again, and it looks like publishing private packages is actually a paid feature. So when running npm publish we have to specify one flag called access with access modifier. In this case I'm gonna use public. So this way our library will be publicly visible. And finally the command has finished with no errors and if I'll switch over to the browser in here I can see that my library was published. Next let's go back to the editor inside the client application. Let's open up package.json and here let's remove the only dependency collect.js. We're also going to remove the folder with this dependency from node modules folder as well as special folder.vit that vit generates to store cached dependencies. And now in order to install the library I have just published, we can use npm install and the full library name. The full name is stored in here under the name key of the package.json of our library project. So let's see what is going to happen when we run npm install and our library name. As we can see the library was successfully installed and now I can run development server by running npm run dev. And here I see the following error saying that some of the dependencies were not resolved. And those dependencies are from our library. And the reason is that currently our client application inside main.js file references old paths to import functionality from our library. So we have to properly update this import path by specifying full library name in here. Next let's start development server again. This time we got a new error. And to understand what's going on in here, let's open up the folder with our package inside node modulus folder of our client application. And here we can see that there is no folder dist with the built assets of our library. But in fact inside the package.json file we are referencing these files from the dist folder because those are the files that have to be imported when users are going to import functionality from our library. So we actually have to do one more thing before publishing our package to npm. Let's go back to the package.json file of our library and in here we have to specify the key files where we can list all the files and folders that have to be published. 
In our case, we only need to publish folder with the build assets, which is dist. So I'm going to specify one folder name in here. And then, once we do any change to our library, I'm also gonna have to republish this library, but with a different version number. We could update this version manually, or we could use npm command called npm version. So we also have to specify which version number we'd like to update, either the first one, second one, or the third one. In this case, it's not really important which one we're gonna update, so I'm gonna update the third one. And the word responsible for updating the third number is patch. Let's run this command. As we can see, our version number was updated. And also this number was updated inside package.json. And to grab the new version of this library, in the client application we have to reinstall it. And before installing the new version of this library in the client application, let's go inside node modules folder of our client application and manually remove the folder of our library from here. And right after that we are ready to install a new version. Let's run npm install and our library name. And now if we'll take a look at the content of the library inside node modules folder, we can see here that this time only one folder is present, which is this. This is that folder we have previously specified under the key files inside package.json of the library, and which is why only this folder has been published to npm. Let's run development server once again, and this time we also got an error, but the error message is different. So it cannot install the library collect.js, but in fact, we reference this library from the source code of our package right here inside index.js. But in fact, we have not installed this library in the client application as well as in our package. So this dependency is nowhere to be found. And the reason why this library was not included in the build file of our library is because inside vid.config.js we have manually specified that vid should not include this external dependency into final build of our library. So to fix this issue, we have to go inside of package JSON of our library. And in here, let's specify one more key called pure dependencies. And these are the dependencies that our library depends on, but it doesn't include those dependencies. So actually client applications will be the ones who will be responsible to install this library in order to use our package. So let's specify here one pure dependency, collect.js. This way we are saying that our library depends on this third-party library. And then of course I'm gonna have to republish our new version of the package. Let's firstly update the version of our package by running the corresponding command. And then let's go back inside the folder with our client application. Let's remove our previous version of the library from node modules folder and reinstall it by running npm install. So what actually happened this time is this. Besides installing our library, we can see that inside node modules folder, there is collect.js folder, which means dependency collect.js was automatically installed along with our package. And the reason it was installed automatically is because we have previously specified this dependency under pure dependencies key inside of our library. So from now on, when any client application is going to install our library, the dependency collect.js will be automatically installed. And finally, if we're gonna run development server inside of our client application, eventually it worked, and in the browser we can see an expected result in a console. And also let's see if production build is also going to work. I'm gonna run npm run build to build this client application. The build has finished without errors, so that's good. And now let's run this build in the browser by running npm run preview. And then by opening up this URL, we see the same result as in development mode. So we were able to successfully publish our package to npm registry. And additionally, our package contains external dependency collect.js, which is not bundled with our library. So all client applications that are going to use our library, once they're gonna install our library, all third-party libraries which our library depends upon, which in this case is only one dependency collect.js, they are going to be automatically installed. So that's about it for this lesson, let's continue learning with it in the next one.